The other day, I was sitting and trying to find some properties for my clients. One of the property that they wanted to go take a look at was sold conditional. So I called them and asked, do you guys want to go see that property, but it's still sold conditional. They were like, what the heck does that mean? Is it sold or not? That's when I realized that as real estate agents, we speak a different language. Most of the buyers, they don't know, they have no idea about what removal of conditions, conditions or sold conditional mean. So today in this episode, I'm going to teach you how to talk like a real estate agent. Welcome back everyone. Thank you so much who have just newly subscribed to my channel. And today we're going to talk about some of the terminology that we use. So when I was trying to prepare for this video, the list just got bigger and bigger. So today we're going to cover some part of it. Let's get started. The first one is conditions. In states, it's called contingency period, but here in Canada, it's called conditions. So basically, as a buyer, you're saying to the seller that I will be able to buy your property once these specific conditions are met. So there's going to be stuff like financing condition, inspection condition, or some kind of disclosure from the seller. And in case of condo, there's going to be status certificate or estoppel package. Um, estoppel package has um, all the finances of the condo and all other stuff. So as long as you meet this condition, then you will be able to buy that property. You'll fully commit to the property. Next one is conditionally sold or sold conditionally. So what that means is seller has accepted your offer, but there is a time frame now for you to meet those conditions. In that time frame, either you will be able to buy that property, like fully commit to the property or walk away. In, the, in that sold conditional period, another buyer can't come and override your place. So after your time frame has gone and either you decide to fully commit to the place or to walk away, then another buyer can come in and put an offer. But you will get your deposit back. And the last one is notice to removal of condition. So after your conditional time period is gone, you're going to write a notice to remove of condition or waiver depending upon the situation. And once you sign up that waiver or notice of removal of conditions, you fully commit to the property. So the status of the property changes from sold conditional to sold firm. And now if you decide to walk away from the property, Seller can claim your deposit or any other damages. Let's say seller has bought another property and then he can take a legal action against you. So once you're writing off notice to removal of condition, make sure you're 100% satisfied with the conditions. Do not sign until you are not sure. That's all for this video. I hope this helps. And when a real estate agent is gonna say that they have to write up a notice of removal, now you'll know what they mean. So if you guys like this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'm gonna start with again with my terrible jokes. So don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys want a part two, give me a huge shout out in the comments. I will make another video about the terminology terms. Until then, take care everyone. See you soon.